Hey guys, welcome to episode 5 of Bucket for Beginners. In this episode, I'm going to go over um, casting and booleans, or booleans, whatever you want to call them. Um, so let's jump right into it. So, oh, I need to do the uh, homework from last episode. So, I told you guys to make a method, a private string method called combine string that took two strings as a parameter and then it returned the um, the uh, the combination of those two. So it would be private. That's what it returns. It returns a string, and it's called combine string. And it takes, I said, string one, and then string two. Just to, I know you guys probably know this, but just to, to reiterate, when you're making variables of any type, you always have to have the type of variable and then the name. So that's what that method is. So there's two ways you could have done the actual code for this. You could have made a string um, called combined string, or you can call it new string. And this is equal to string one plus string or string two. And you could return the new string. Or there's actually a shortcut that you can do where you can return string one plus string two. And this is the same exact thing as because it, uh, it's returning this whole thing. It's the same way if you put this in parentheses. And then it's going to return whatever this equals, which would be the combination of those two. Then I ask you guys to log a severe message. Um, and log it using this. So how you would do that is you would do my plugin logger dot severe and the message we're gonna call the combine string method and we're gonna pass in um, cool beans and some rice what are you yelling at me for? Oh, oops, uh, th this should be a comma, not a A plus. Because here's one string, and then here's a second, or here's a second string. So let's just export this really fast. That's the, um, the enter, enter, enter I was talking about. When you export, you go enter for next, enter for finish and enter for overwrite and you have your new updated plugin minimize out of here let's open up our testing server let's start it up double click the run.bat it's gonna get all that going open up minecraft actually we don't need to open up minecraft we're just looking at here so cool beans and some rice you see it's right there all right so that was a nice example of how to use your own method. Let's stop this server. Now we're going to get into all the good stuff about casting and boolean. So we'll do casting first. We'll leave this method there. Um, casting is basically converting one type of object into another. So uh, you're going to see this with the the um, the on command method which is called whenever a player does a command that's what we're gonna um, the next episode is gonna be about if statements and after that we're gonna go into um, our command actually no, we're gonna do a raise and then command but anyway we have let's say we have an integer um, and it's stuff and stuff is gonna have the value of 5.6. Now, if you were, if you've been paying attention to me up until now, you're you're yelling at me, saying, "Yo, Apple, you can't, you can't put a decimal because that's a double." So, what we could do is we could make that a double, and everything would be fine and dandy. Or we could leave it as an integer, and we can do what's called casting. We can cast this to an int. So, this is a double. And what this parentheses and this um, putting in here means is it turns this into this. It's turning 5.6, which is a double, into an integer, which in this case just means it's going to round it up into 6, because 
five and above, give it a shove, four below, let it go, you know, all that math stuff. So this would be equal to six. So stuff is going to have the value of six now. The same thing is going to work in your own command method when you want to get the player that sends the command because um, the, well, you'll see this in a couple episodes. The the on command method instead it doesn't give you a player; it gives you a, a, what's called a command sender. That's a class. Now command sender can either be the console or it can be a player, but you don't know which one it is. So uh, we'll say it's the sender. Now uh, what you're going to have to do we're gonna, like that, you're going to have to cast the sender to a player. You're going to have to convert that into a player so you can so you can use it as a player because uh, the player has a bunch of methods to him like sending him a message, teleporting him, and if you try to just do that to the sender, uh, what if it's the console? You can't teleport the console, so you need to, it would be like a player, uh, the player who sent the message, we're not going to keep it, this is just for example purposes, is equal, it has the value of the sender, but we need to cast this to a player. And then everything is going to be fine and dandy. Uh, we have to import all these. Just so you guys know, if you press Control Shift O, it's going to import all the stuff that it can. So this just wants me to initialize that. So uh, null just means nothing. It means the ob this object, the sender, has no value. But that is how you cast. Uh, don't get into the habit of casting too much because a lot of the times you're not going to be able to because um, there's only certain objects that you can cast like you can only cast an object or an object um, besides the primitives like in and double that's a there's those are in their own category but for for doing objects like a string or or like our turtles class um, if you want to cast stuff like that generally it has to be a, um, a subclass, which is what this extends mean. A just a, a quick tip. When you see the word extends, in your head, I want you to say is a. So instead of extend, say is a. So turtles is a Java plugin. So like a Java plugin isn't necessarily a turtle, but a turtle is a Java plugin, because our turtles plugin is a Java plugin. So it's a subclass, it's like a child of it. So the um, the same thing goes with the, I wish I could bring this sender stuff back. So a command sender isn't necessarily a player, but a player is always a, is, is always a sender. So like a player is always the type of sent, like a player is a sender, a console is a sender. But a sender isn't necessarily a player. It could be a console. So you have to cast it to that. So that is how casting works. You'll see that in about two episodes. You'll see it in action. Uh, next is booleans. A boolean is a, um, or a boolean, boolean, a boolean. We'll say boolean. It sounds, sounds nice. Um, that's another uh, one of the, um, the primitive data types. And a boolean can only be true or false. So a boolean um, is awesome. It can either be equal to true or it can be equal to false. That simple. Um, you can do this in methods. You can say um, private boolean are these greater than, or not are these, we'll say is this greater than 10 and we'll give it a number. And then this is actually um, next uh, next episode is if statements, but you would say if the number you pass in is greater than 10, return true, so tell us it's true. Else, if it's not, return false. So uh, next episode, we'll get into the if statements. You'll see how, how you code this exactly. 
um, and what this does. But that is a boolean, and the the on command method that we're going to see in a couple episodes is going to use a boolean. It's going to return um, a true or false of whether or not the um, the command was executed correctly. So we'll see that later on. And I believe that's it for uh, for this episode. I told you this was going to be a short one because uh, there's not much else. And uh, next episode should be pretty short too. It's just if statements, and then the, the, it's going to be about the operators, like uh, it's like uh, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, not equal to, just not. That, we'll explain that too. Equal to and all that. There's a modulus one, which is really fun. So that is it. Now for the homework, I would like you guys to make a, let me see, I'd like you to make a public method, so it's going to be public method, it's going to return a double, and it's going to, or no, I'm sorry, it's going to return an int, and um, I want you to pass a double into it. Now the method is going to be called add 10. Okay, so it's a public method that returns an integer called add 10. It takes a double named uh, number as the parameter. And what it does is it takes double, it casts it to an integer, it adds 10 to it, and then it returns it. And it gives you that, it gives you that, an integer back. Okay. So that is it. Be sure to comment, subscribe if you want to. Um, if you have any questions, contact me on Skype. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. I'm standing in front of you.